What's going on everyone, it's Justin here and today I have another episode showing you the best tech products in a price category. This one is for $500 and under and it's part of our gift guide series for 2022. But regardless of whether you're looking for a gift idea or a product that you can add to your own tech arsenal, this is an episode that has a lot of exciting stuff for gamers out there. You've also got an amazing keyboard that is fully customizable. You also have some sunglasses with a camera built in and there's also some accessories for creators out there so as always all the products are going to be linked down below if you guys want to check out some other price points i also have an episode of products under 50 dollars, under 100 dollars, as well as under 200 dollars. and we also have a few episodes left in this series and as i mentioned i'm giving away a ps5 on the channel for the holiday season so if you want to enter just go ahead and subscribe drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below with your instagram username and i'll be picking a winner from one of the gift guide episodes and leaving a pin comment of where the winner came from on December 20th. So as always, I'm going to link all these products, but let's just go ahead and get started. So in this season of holiday gift guides, we've checked out products in many different price points, specifically in the keyboard category. I love checking out the mechanical options out there, but if you're looking for the best of the best when it comes to mechanical productivity keyboards, this one from Mode is the best one that I've checked out to date. It is fully customizable and starts around the price of $300, but it is literally like specking out a car. Every little intricate detail of this keyboard is customizable down to the color of the grips, the frame, the accent colors, the insert up here, as well as very small details that are even under the keys themselves. So if you're looking for the most customized experience and you know what you want, or just looking for the ultimate keyboard setup, this is the one for you. I really love the feel of it. It has so much good weight and it was a lot heavier than I expected, but that is important for any desk setup because it doesn't shift around at all. But also the typing experience. Even though I have tested out a lot of amazing wireless keyboards and mechanical keyboards in my days, I find that this one right here just has something special about that tactile experience. And I mean, I just have so many good things to say about this. And I know spending this amount on a keyboard is not really gonna be for everyone, but if you're really looking for the best and you you want to add some personality to it then you can definitely do that here and personally I've gone with one with like the olive green option with a copper insert on the top and the black keys and let's go ahead and check out the website because here are just some of the details that you can go ahead and select during that process which just makes it so much more fun when your creation arrives. For anyone looking for a great projector, something that we checked out on the channel recently is the Nebula Capsule Projector. It is a portable mini Wi-Fi projector that delivers a relatively decent image in low light, but the most important thing is that it actually has a battery that is built in. So you can go ahead and take it on the go, it'll give you a couple hours of viewing experience, and it also has HDMI, so you can go ahead and connect your own inputs, but you can also stream your own video content to it. Nebula is a company that is parented by Anchor, which is really good at hardware, and they actually make a a really good 4k projector as well but it is more expensive and it's also larger so it may not be for everyone so if you're looking for a small projector that is super portable then the nebula capsule is something that comes in at a price point of just about three hundred dollars I wouldn't say it is like the best image quality out there but for the price it is relatively hard to beat at the moment As for the tablet side of things, the new iPad 10 is an option that comes in under $500. And it's available in many different fun colors, but it got its redesign, which makes it the entry level tablet that has that flagship design that is brought over originally from the iPad Pro, which I still think is one of the best design products to date. It does have compatibility with an Apple Pencil, which is nice, but it features the Apple A14 Bionic chip with a six core CPU and a four core GPU. And for anyone who's looking to do like general productivity, as well as some tasks in the graphics field but just wants to enjoy the great form factor of the new generation of iPads and from a multimedia perspective this is the best all-round option. It features a 2360 by 1640 resolution display at a 264 ppi on a 10.9 inch liquid retina screen that does have a little bit of a bigger bezel than the 11 inch iPad for example but I think overall for the price and with the touch ID and everything it is going to be the most suitable iPad for the largest demographic out there. 
It does have a 12 megapixel camera on the back if you need it. But the only big drawback I would say is that it uses the first generation Apple Pencil, which means you do need an adapter because it does have USB Type-C. But if the Pencil is not a major feature to you, then this iPad, I think, is the one that you should check out in the lineup in terms of value. Perhaps one of my favorite new products that I've checked out this year though is the Aura Ring. This is something that I saw a lot of before and I always love the concept just because of the form factor. There are a lot of different health products that can be very useful in different ways. The Aura Ring though is one that does check off the boxes when it comes to features of health, the general HRV, and all these different health parameters that are important for bringing you useful data of your general health and activity. But what I really like it for is sleep. And with over 100 flights this year and 100 days on the road, I'm always trying to monitor sleep just to be able to see where I'm at in a given day. And I find that in that sector alone, it does a really good job. Being able to wear something as a ring is super handy. It is very stylish and it comes in a few different colors. And I have it right here in the matte black and after wearing it for four months, it has been extremely durable. And although there are a few scratches here and there, considering the ways that I've treated it, it has held up really, really well. The battery life is about four to seven days. And I would say that that is pretty accurate, but I have rarely hit seven days. And the data on the app gives you a good graph of your sleep, your different stages of sleep, the amount of time and your readiness for the day. And you can give it feedback based on that and it'll continue to optimize the algorithm. I know for some people you're gonna benefit from using it as an activity tracker more so than a sleep tracker. But personally, I really love it as a sleep tracker. The best part about it though, is that it is super light and durable. It's made out of titanium, so it actually weighs four to six grams lighter than most rings. And with the amount of tech that is integrated, I would say it's pretty impressive. And I also think it just looks quite good. So when it comes to the best pair of over-ear noise-canceling headphones, this right here is the Sony WH-1000XM5. This year's design, I think, looks a lot better. For like lifestyle use, if you're in public, the previous generations did a really good job from a tech and performance standpoint, but didn't exactly look the best, and they really fixed that this year. It is just a much smoother look to it. It is also super comfortable. And I like these a lot more than the AirPods Max because they don't clamp on your ears and they're also not extremely heavy. The actual like flexibility here in the headband is amazing. The ear cups are great, but the best part about it and what you would expect out of a price point of $400 is incredible sound quality and noise isolation. And this definitely checks off those boxes. It features best in class active noise cancellation technology with four microphones in each ear cup and auto noise cancellation optimizer for the best performance and noise cancellation. There's also a V1 processor that is integrated with the noise canceling processor QN1 and the 30 millimeter driver unit delivers great sound quality for music listening and for dialogue with a really good amount of bass. I think if you're looking for an amazing pair of noise canceling headphones under $500, this is the option to check out. But if you're looking to save a bit of money, then the previous generation was also one of the best in its category and it's been going on sale quite often. So the next few products right here are from the Amazon smart home ecosystem. And I want to give a huge thanks to Alexa Home for sponsoring this video. The products that I have in front of me are the Amazon Echo Show as well as the Blink Mini 1080p security camera, which is an option that is relatively economical, but still gives you great video quality. All you have to do is download the latest version of the Blink and Alexa app. And from the Blink app, you can add the camera as an accessory. And here we've scanned the QR code and it's ready to connect to the Wi-Fi right away. Once the camera is connected to the app, you can see the monitoring starts working right away. And from there, you can enable the Blink Smart Home Alexa skill. This links the Blink camera to your Alexa home ecosystem, allowing you to take full advantage of voice control and commands. The setup process only takes five minutes and from there you're able to start monitoring your home and ensuring it is secure through the notifications that it gives you on your mobile devices, but also being able to arm and disarm it when you leave the house or when you're coming back. Whether you have a pet or children coming home or roommates, being able to see when people are in and out of the house through the motion detection is super handy and it has all the different activity logs that are able Able to assist you in that monitoring process. So if you guys want to go and check out the Blink Mini security camera as well as the Amazon Echo Show 5 and have the system set up for yourself, I'm going to drop a link down below and I want to give a huge thanks to Alexa Smart Home for sponsoring a portion of this video. So just from data alone, I know it's mostly guys watching my videos, but if you're looking for the ultimate gift for your girlfriend, your wife, etc., then this right here is the gift box from Dyson. 
they actually have a special edition for the holiday season, which is the Vinca Blue Rosé, and it comes with a whole bunch of different accessories, but it's just a very nice presentation on top of an amazing product. This gift box alone it comes with a whole bunch of stuff. It has this beautiful case right here that is sort of like a nice violet color with a rose gold touch to it. And each year they do a pretty cool special edition that has the different attachments that you're able to just have all in this amazing kit. I love these hair dryers because they're very powerful, easy to control, intuitive. And I like it to the point where I've actually brought it on some trips even though it didn't really seem that necessary at the time. It has three precise speed settings, four precise heat settings, and 100 Celsius fast drying and styling, with 80 Celsius for regular drying and 60 Celsius for cooler drying. You can also set it to 28 degrees Celsius of constant cold, so having all of that control, if you're someone who really takes advantage of it from the styling perspective, is what makes this the gold standard for hair dryers on the market. So the next product right here is a Logitech Blue Sona, and this is one from the Logitech for Creators collection that is part of their products that are geared for creators, streamers, podcasters. And Logitech has really led the way when it comes to productivity accessories for many years now, but they have also acquired the company that you guys know and love, which is Blue specializing in audio and professional audio for so many years now, and I've used their products in the past. So this partnership comes together in a product that is really optimized for creators and for your desk setup because it utilizes blue audio technology and the technology from that in a very beautiful design here that is extremely streamlined and in conjunction with the boom mic, you're able to go ahead and just plug it in and have this very seamless and beautiful mic setup for your recording. So here's a sound test of the Blue Sona microphone. It's an active dynamic XLR broadcast microphone with clear amp. And the best part about it is that it actually has an internal shock mount. It also has a dual diaphragm setup and it is literally all contained within this form factor right here. So you don't need any of these big and ugly accessories all around it. It is literally ready to go. It is super clean and it's also available in a white color. I think this is gonna be an option that we're gonna use for a lot of videos just because the sound quality is great due to blues technology but also the fact that it just looks very stylish which is something that is very important to me especially because we invest so much in trying to make our sets look as good as possible you can also use built-in controls to be able to adjust the sound and the characteristic and as someone who talks with a lot of plosives i always need like a dual mic screen and this actually does an amazing job just as is without a really ugly pop filter on the front Honestly, I didn't really know what to expect, but at a $350 price point, I would say that this definitely starts to creep into the entry-level professional category, and with XLR audio, this is definitely a microphone that I'm going to be using a ton, and for any creators out there, it is a great gift. So when it comes to a great gaming headset, my favorite set that I've checked out this year is the headphone line from Sony. It is from the InZone collection and there's a few different models, both smaller and larger, depending on the feature set that you need. But this is the flagship InZone H9. It is specialized for gaming and has a lot of optimizations towards that, but it's actually a really good headphone overall for video editing as well as monitoring audio because it delivers great sound and isolation, but with a ton of comfort and a very lightweight frame. It has 360 degree spatial sound, which is an area of optimization that Sony has specialized in their experience in the audio world and in the music world. It also has a great bi-directional boom microphone for clear communication and symmetric acoustic structure that has great sound quality and acoustic feedback that separates the background and different elements when it comes to gaming. The battery life is also up to 32 hours on a single charge, which is impressive, and it's all in this wireless setup right here, and you have all the controls that you need on board. The only thing I would say is that it is a little bit on the large end. I don't think it looks the best, but it is a very clean design and with all of the tech that is packed in, it obviously comes at a size, but they do also make a smaller model as well. And I think in this new collection of in-zone products that Sony has launched with their monitor as well as the headphones, it is a very compelling option for any PC or PlayStation gamer out there. So a very popular gift around the holiday season is a Nintendo Switch. And this model particularly is a new OLED model, which is one of the biggest improvements that this lineup has seen to date. It is still one of the best recommendation when it comes to a portable game system. And even though we have checked out the Steam Deck, which is really cool to be able to play some full PC games, 
This is just a much more optimized and simplified experience that comes in at a price point of $350. It's available in a few different fun colors and I have like the classic red and blue right here, but I personally really like the gray one as well as the black one as well. But the bottom line is it features a seven inch OLED screen that is brighter, clearer, the colors look great, and it has a nice crisp contrast to it that enhances the gaming experience compared to the previous generation. It features 64 gigabytes of internal storage, enhanced audio system from the onboard speakers when playing, and in general, it just comes down to the games that you like to play. Whether it is sports games or the classics such as Mario, there are so many options on here. So if there are some games that any 90s kids grew up with, you can find that on the Nintendo Switch. And I also love that it is nice and light to carry around with you, maybe use on travel or on flights, but you can also take it home, put it on the dock and enjoy that gaming experience from the comfort of your own home in your own living room setup. So perhaps the stupidest cool thing that I bought this year is the Ray-Ban Stories. There's a huge marketing campaign behind this and when I saw the store experience and how you're able to pick the different silhouettes, which in this case I went with the Wayfarer, I figured out that it was a really cool product that I'd love to check out because we have started doing a ton of Instagram Reel and Reel vlogs. And so being able to capture that field of view in certain areas where you may not want to whip out your camera, I thought was pretty cool. And this right here is able to record in a high definition resolution and store up to 500 photos and 30 30 second videos just from the memory built in. It features dual five megapixel cameras that can be voice activated, but otherwise you control it from pressing the button and it just has like a very subtle camera right here and an indicator light when recording. You're able to go ahead and crop and adjust the different field of view from the actual app itself. But I will say the software experience and the execution is definitely very much like a first generation product. I think it'd make a great gift for someone who has literally everything and for the traveler in your life because it captures great perspectives in scenarios where you may not be able to. And I think that is the most important when it comes to a camera that is an odd form factor. When it comes to video quality though, I'm definitely quite picky because I'm obviously recording videos for a living and I expect the quality out of like a great iPhone. And I would say that this is a camera that gets the job done. It is high definition and in good lighting, it looks pretty cool. But when you start to get into more dim scenarios, it really doesn't look good at all. And that is the main reason that I haven't been using it as much. At a price point of 299, if you're looking for a pair of sunglasses, you probably would have already spent like 150 to 200. So if you think you're gonna use this feature, a few times, then it could be worth it and it could definitely be a cool gift, but I'm more interested in seeing what the future generations of these products end up resulting in as the camera technology and the hardware continues to improve along with app optimizations. Another really good gift for your parents, for example, could be a pizza oven. The Gauzy Rockbox is the one that we checked out, and even though it is the winter, it was a really fun thing that brings people together because you're able to make pizza or just go ahead and buy a frozen one if you're lazy like me and just put it inside this wood-fired experience of a pizza oven that you can just have in your backyard. It really delivers that ultimate experience because it is able to reach temperatures to give you that authentic experience like you would at a restaurant from the comfort of your own home. It comes in under the price of $500, but I definitely think that it's one that's just a lot of fun to use in the summer because who doesn't love pizza? When it comes to a great desktop speaker, my top recommendation is the Audio Engine A2 Plus. And after having a few speakers in my main setup that costed over $1,000, I still think the Audio Engine A2 Plus is the best value when it comes to getting the most performance at the price point without reaching the territory of diminishing return. This is a speaker that is relatively compact, but it has some great drivers to it, and the sound quality is impressive, especially if you go ahead and use USB instead of the 3.5 millimeter jack. It's really been around for quite a while. It's available in white and black, and I've had both of them in pretty much all of my setups over the years, but it is really down to sound quality at its price point that makes it so good. The 60 watts of power are able to fill a whole room, and there's also Bluetooth models as well, but I personally don't really use a Bluetooth as much. But at a price point of about $250, it barely makes this episode because it is just such a good price point. Another great gift could also be a nano leaf. This is a great way to transform a room, a dorm room, or a desk setup because you could really customize the tiles to any pattern that you would like. And we have this inner co-working space just on the wall. 
The model that I really like in particular is the wood one. I do find that the color ones are just not really my style, even though they're very popular, but the wood one really goes with my interior design preferences, and especially on a dark wall, having the contrast of the darkness and the light just looks incredible. The hexagon panels are really fun to just be able to customize, and the starter kit comes with seven panels that can be arranged to your liking, and the panels are really easy to attach to any surfaces, and the starter pack comes in at a price of $250. You can go ahead and add multiple different packs together and create a large pattern of your choice but typically one or two of these packs I find is able to kind of fill a bedroom or a desk setup just enough without going completely overboard. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed, as always, make sure you go ahead and drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next one.